Try to red. Oh, dang it, it's a red. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But I caught one. <laughs> I did. I did. I said, man, I want to catch a red on this. And what do I do? I don't disappoint myself. And I catch a little rat. A little rat red. See you later, boy. Get, get bigger. Okay, I will, mister. What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fish Again Milligan. I'm out here with Captain Canoe, Captain JC, and Aaron. We're out here guys fishing the Shallow Sport Tournament. So we're going to give you guys some behind the scenes footage today. We're out here in some skinny water. After all, it is the Shallow Sport Tournament, not the deep water tournament. You guys stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. We're going to win this tournament, boys. This year we're going to do it though. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right, guys. First fish of the tournament. Little trout here. You got it? Decent? Okay. He's not going anywhere, so it's all good. Nice, man. Dude, let's go. You got it. Get back good job. In there, good cool. job. Dude, it's way down in this there. Guy's, dude, this guy's a chunker. Yeah, he's chunky. He's chunky for sure. 22. 22? He's fat, bro. Yeah, he's a fatty. All right, guys, tournament update. We got a 22-inch red in the boat. Caught a couple small, uh, smaller trout, 16, 17-inch. So we're on the right track here. Captain JT is throwing a top one. The other two boys are waiting right there within eyesight according to tournament rules. He's still following it. He's still following it. Dude, he's flashing behind it. God, hit it. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's a trout, dude. No, no, it's a red. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. He's got it in the side, too. He's playing me good. Came off. Yeah, got it on the side. Dang it, dude. Shoot, man. Don't keep trying again. They yeah. look big. Ooh, look at that, bro. Look at that. Yes, sir. This is a little paddle tail from Saltstrong. And we got the jig head from Salty Head. And we're throwing it out here with our little murky water rod. No bites in here. I'm gonna go ahead and move. It's all right, we got plan B. Shoot, we got plan C. We got plan D. We got the whole alphabet. 
so you guys stay tuned we're gonna get on some fish let's go what's up guys today we're using the slam shady bomber this is a five inch paddle tail from the salt strong insider club i got myself a six six murky water rod this is a medium fast action and i got it rigged up with a weedless bomber from salt strong Guys, this is the Salt Strong Bomber. Rigging it weedless. I got it paired up here with this little weedless setup. I want to say this is maybe about an eighth ounce, maybe 16th ounce. And all I'm doing is just letting it go down to the bottom and just bouncing it on the bottom. Having some success with that today. So you guys make sure to try these out. Another one, here's another one. Yeah. Ooh, buddy. Nice. Got ourselves a nice red. Here's another red on the Salt Strong Bomber. Oh, God. Dang it. <laughs> he came off. Good thing he's still hooked. <laughs> you guys, be sure to check out the links down below. There's some free trial memberships. Everything that you guys click on helps uh, out the channel. So if you guys would do that, I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget about fishing in shirts, hats, all that stuff. If you guys are ever interested in anything like that, just reach out to me. All right, guys, so what I'm doing here is just picking apart this turtle grass. There's a bunch of turtle grass, and then there's some barren spots where it's dead or just looks like sand. So I'm taking this uh, five inch bomber from Salt Strong, got it rigged weedless because there's a lot of grass out here. And all I'm doing is throwing it to where I see the ripples because that's where the grass is. And then I'm putting my rod tip low and I'm just going like this and i'll speed it up and i'll slow it down speed it up slow it down and what that bomber's doing is just hunting through the grass trying to find a red that's just hanging out fluorocarbon on here not many guys use this out here in the bay this is 10 pound fluorocarbon that's right you heard me 10 pound fluorocarbon on the shimano tranks medium 6.6 rod and then I got a short little 20 fluorocarbon leader right here. And that's pretty much it. Throw it. And put the rod low. And just start burning it. I actually got my rod tip in the water. Don't tell Jacob, the you know, the owner of Murky Water Rods. Don't tell him that I put the tip in the water like that. Because then that will void the warranty. The warranty just expired. I'm just kidding, guys. The warranty didn't expire. <laughs> and a little update over here. We got two reds now. So we got about a three pounder and about a four, four and a half pounder. Also, if you guys want to try one of these murky water rods, you can get on the website, murkywaterrodco.com and uh, use the code fish again and you will save 10% on a rod. And a huge thanks to our buddy Adrian. He's a big supporter of the Murky Water team and he actually hooked us up. So these have like little clips and stuff. You could put scissors on there. You could put a whistle on there. So if you guys are interested, I'll go ahead and leave his number and stuff down below. You can go ahead and find his stuff over there at Hook, Line, and Sinker. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like if you like it, comment if you want to say something, subscribe. All right guys, just coming back to the boat. Got a nice couple reds here on the stringer. And I want to say a huge thank you to Captain JT. What's up, man? Hey guys, how's it going? It's Captain JT here. He has a really awesome charter service. What's it called again? Yeehaw Charters. Yeehaw Charters. So if you guys want to get on some reds, huge shout out to this guy. Uh, definitely, I'll put his link description down below. Check him out, guys. Yeah.